<laughs> Hello, everybody. No. Last time on My Hero Class 1C, we witnessed child murder. He's not... <sighs> He's not dead. I almost didn't know if I wanted to... You're just mad that we guessed it. <laughs> his, his limp <laughs> corpse is sitting in Ichiro's arms. Oh, yeah. Ichiro is carrying Akihiko. I should probably name all of them on here for later. Um, but suffice to say, here. Matthew, thank you so much for the $50. Soul Doctor oh, is king. You. I hope to see Whoa. him slay today. Oh, the benefit from this $50, I wish for him to go to him. Uh, yeah, so we do have donation bonuses. And... This is probably one of the first times I've seen Matthew, other than for, for Soul Doctor, donate it for, uh, for non-evil purposes. I've seen, I think it was you, Matthew, who donated for the Demon Slayer group, but like kept giving the bonus to the demon because <laughs> you wanted them to die. <laughs> um, and to the Chainsaw Man fan game. Uh, so, who do you, you want to give the, oh, he gets, so Soul Doctor gets a plus one to his roll and a re-roll. <laughs> I am machine by three days grace. Uh, Alright, Mitsuru, Akihiko, Homura, Ichiro, and by association, Nia are all standing around Soul Doctor. And on the opposite side of that wall, uh, Kosuke, you and Alina are just kind of standing here as you watch this building cave in on itself. You hear the explosion of concrete smacking concrete and pillars being ruptured. Um, like the real test of this thing's strength is being pushed until finally it's crumbled and you can see a plume of smoke rise up into the air. Um, essentially, this thing is destroyed. Um, and I'll bury it for you guys to not have to look at. And that's not how I would do Bit it. Bit of an eyesore. <laughs> Destroy it. Kill him. Do it. <laughs> Kill him. Um, I I do want to know. Oh my god, me when my brain can't remember the button to move. <laughs> the around. Oh the, is there a button for that? Yeah. To, well, it's just clicking and dragging, but it's oh. also what you do to pick things up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I use the middle mouse button sometimes, but I. Oh, true. Uh, but. I did want to ask uh, Kosuke standing there with Alina. Does he have anything to offer, like in an in input wise? I mean, I, I guess. Yeah, I mean, he's really just gonna be like, ah. Uh, <laughs> so that just happened. I'm, okay, like, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you anti Kosuke like, Marvel dialogue? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I, I, I'm sorry, my flames got in the way again. Uh. Sorry, I moved Kyo and Sosuke a little too a little too soon, but um, oh, hey, Ali <laughs> apparates next to you. Uh, Alina gives you like a, a hand wave, like a gesture down. Like you can try and give me perception check. She whispers something to you, um, but with her hand motion, I'll give you advantage if you want. It's easy to tell what she's saying. Um, and as you hear her trying to talk, the Kyo and Sosuke are coming around the corner. As he turns the corner, you can see Sosuke is just covered in like a like a plastic wrap hazmat suit that he's somehow pulled out. It's it's almost like a, those ponchos that you'd buy at the store that are like trash bag material. Yeah. <laughs> what did you get? Uh, thirteen. 13. You could tell that she's giving you like, a, oh, it's all good. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, you know, a, a full on explanation of how sorry she is that it <laughs> inconvenienced you while you were trying to do your your business saving people too. Um, Kyo coming around the truck with his arms around his head, anime pro tag style while Sosuke is uh, like arms at his side. You can see he's holding two, like, he's holding two disinfectants, but one of them is an aerosol spray, and the other is, like, the Purell squirt bottle. Uh, and he has just finished, obviously, like, lathering himself. He's, he's putting them into his backpack, which is also lined with a trash liner. <clears throat> Kyo turns with a, like, yo, that was a 
fucking explosion if I've ever seen one. I have no idea how I would have survived that if I were any deeper into this shit. Um. <clears throat> so anyway, are we heading out, you think? Uh, I, I mean, I, we should reconvene with the other guys. I think they went out the other side of the building, so. True. Probably meet up around the front. Oh, you know what? Homer is here, right? Yeah, I won't get blamed for this, for sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for real. Makes a pretty good scapegoat. So true. But no, we're probably heading back to the hotel. We're definitely done, right? You think, like, there's no way they're going to make us do other stuff after, like, bleh, like, almost, bleh, like, making the, he, he begins, like, making the <laughs> cut sound for, like, you guys dying. As he's, uh, he's throwing his, his palmed finger, like, across his neck, like a, a slash. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I'm not super confident about that. <laughs> You guys, uh, are you going to gather them up and take them around to, to Soul yeah. Doctor? All right. You can grab them if you want. Or no, you know what? I'll just move them with. Yeah. I have to grab the lasso tool separately. <laughs> yeah. Piss. The, the lasso tool is S, by the way. W is grab. S is Ooh, select. Okay. Uh, Soul Doctor, as you guys are all out, whistles very loudly. All of you feel like your ear for a second as you see he's gesturing over for EI to come rejoin the group which he reluctantly does after like walking a few feet um can you guys give me insight check Homura and Ichiro but while while I'm talking of course but uh Soul Doctor is like all right something is clearly fucky going on not really in the state of mind or the mood to deal with a shit anymore. We're going to head back to the rooms and we're going to meet up with the other teachers. I've lost signal ever since the crash. Uh, he looks around a little behind himself uh, and then down, I guess, where you guys would be facing. It's He looks down south. Children, your first years, correct? Yeah. yeah. You guys haven't had perfect time to, I would say, forge your abilities in skilled combat. But your quirks are powerful. I've witnessed you firsthand. I would like to ask you a very, very tough question, and feel free to say no. And you can feel the air start to get a little bit more serious as he looks at you guys. Um, Kyo and Sosuke... Sorry, Kyo is the one sweating. You wouldn't even be able to tell if it was Sosuke underneath all that fucking plastic wrap. Uh, Alina, who is now shocked. All three of them have noticed Akihiko. And I wanted to ask Kosuke, upon walking up, Ichiro is holding him, but you see Akihiko unconscious. There's blood, not pouring, but dripping down his head uh, onto his face. And there are cuts and bruises all over his body. Um, some of them have been like briefly wrapped by Clean Knight. Nope, Soul Doctor. I'm mixing my boys up. Uh, did you have any immediate reaction to seeing this? You can tell that uh, Kyo, Sosuke, and Elena are all mortified. Kyo, clearly, uh, like, interested in getting closer to check on him further. Uh, like, he's trying to push between Homura and Kosuke. Um, Alina has her hand over her mouth and she's backed up uh, a foot um you can hear her like <sighs> uh and sosuke who has hit like deer in the headlights level shock where um kyo gives him the like so move uh and pushes him he gets between uh sosuke kosuke sorry and homura and peers over akihiko i want to ask ichiro you watch as um kyo just kind of like palms akihiko's face I didn't know if you would try and move away. Uh, no, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Kosuke, how are you going to react? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think he's going to say anything. He's just going to kind of look a little, like, cringing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cringe, bro. 
<laughs> I would not get hurt like that. See, if it were me, I simply would have dodged, which is <laughs> kind of like true. Really good at that. <laughs> That's actually not probably like too far off. Kind of, mark. of my thing. Um. <clears throat> but yeah, no. Uh, Kyo continues to to look around at Akihiko while he's talking. Soul Doctor asks, "Listen, now I know you." All aren't perfectly familiar with this layout. But if I can get to the compound's military facilities or to the radio tower, I think I could get some kind of signal to call for help. I want you, and I need you to understand how serious this is. I need you to be safe if you accept this and move on without me. I'll let you guys know where Mr. Silo and the other students are if you'd rather go join up with them. But I have no guarantee where they're at. Last I pinged, checked in with them. They were over by the dive bar. But that does not mean that things haven't gone south and they've gone other ways. So keep an open mind. Would you rather travel with me over to the radio tower? Would you rather... Sorry. Would you rather allow me to travel to the radio tower and head over to the apartment building? Or would you like to head over to the dive bar? Wait, so we're... You can, you can travel with... Sorry. He's, to go with him? He, no, you, he's saying would you rather go with him, go to the apartment building, or go to the dive bar. I'm not great <laughs> with this guy. <clears throat> Go with him, or go with him to the radio tower. Go to the dive bar and meet with the other class, or, or the other half of your class, or go to the straight to the apartment building, where a clean night is. Mm. Uh -huh. yeah, I'd kind of, kind of like to go to the dive bar. All right, one well, vote. What about you guys? <laughs> one vote. I love going to the bar. <laughs> Don't leave us. Don't he won't be gone for too long. He's a pro hero. Say something. Yeah, I guess I'll go with the majority. Oh. <laughs> Dive bar. People said go to the yeah. All right. <laughs> Fuck you, Kosuke. Your opinion is invalid. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we going? The the dive bar. Okay, sorry. I just want to I just want to clarify. I know you voted for. It. I know. Uh, if absolute, yeah, you guys are the majority vote. Uh, there was a third for dive bar, and a third for uh, radio tower, and then a third for clean night uh, at the apartment complex. To the dive bar you go. Um, and I love diving into bars. <laughs> so, all of you are going what to leave to me? as Soul Doctor gives you basically. Oh, Matthew donated ten dollars. I vote go with Soul oh, Doctor. Thank you. <laughs> He's voting against you guys. Well, sorry, that's a one of three vote. <laughs> yeah. Oh. A one of three vote. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So you guys uh, watch as Soul Doctor splits off he wants to give you some method of communication but ultimately has nothing that would work through the wireless um <laughs> like he would give you a cup on a string if he could at this point if anything goes wrong or you feel like you're unsafe or you can't make it go straight to the military compound i'll leave special instructions for you guys to meet up with them if anything is to go wrong they'll always have someone stationed at their compound but until then Keep each other safe. And make sure he gets attention immediately. I've patched up what I could from his more obvious injuries, but there's no telling what's going on inside his body. Uh, obviously talking about Akihiko, it is... This is going to require some of you guys to make checks to keep him safe as you travel. Okay. Um, so you guys are going to the bowling alley first. Um, which means... Oh! It's time to switch us over. 
<laughs> Not the blowing alley. That's a completely different place. Uh, and let me copy you guys. So Soul Doctor is heading this way. Uh, assumedly, you three are going to lead the charge. Who is carrying Akihiko? I would assume Ichiro. someone. I would assume someone, did you say? No, still me. Oh, okay. All right. Excuse me as I copy you guys and move you over. Uh, so my, now my question is, would you guys... You guys wouldn't go into the bowling alley, would you? You would just like to pass yeah. it? I mean, if we're just... Yeah, if we're just walking by yeah. it. Yeah. Um, as you get Unless to the... my big-ass ear hears anything. <laughs> you know what? Give me perception. <laughs> okay. So, sorry. Let me... Oh, fuck. Seven. <clears throat> All right. Sorry, I don't know if I cut out. I got a seven. No, you're okay. Sorry, I'm I'm doing a, a thing right now where I have to to Dude. move everybody. Oh, you're grabbing everybody. Like I have, well, that I have a I have a big map of the compound. I'm moving things around. There's a there's an environmental turn aspect to it, where whenever you guys leave one of the areas, things shift around the area. <laughs> Sorry, that was that sounded way more unhinged than I meant it to come out. Yeah, it was fucking <laughs> maniacal. Yeah. And so, then things move around when you yeah! like a fucking <laughs> Tasmanian devil. Uh alright. It's like a Minotaur's labyrinth. Uh you guys pass by the bowling alley, and of course you can hear the sounds of the machines inside and the music playing, but nothing that stands out. Uh Ichiro, Homer, did you want to roll? No. Understandable. Yeah, not really. <laughs> Ichiro is not paying. He's focused on fucking. He's locked the fuck in right now. Not over the He's other large. On Whoa. <laughs> what am I rolling? Uh, perception. So it, yeah, if you want to hear. Ooh, and see. my ears are open wide. Eight. Eight. Is that you got an eight? Yeah. Oh, I, okay. I just want to make sure. Uh, passing by, you can hear the sounds of footsteps inside, but this seems to be robotic-like in that there's no like step to them. It's step, step. It's a there's no human gate to the walk, uh, and you can tell that whether or not these are like evil, they are just kind of walking around. They're not like running or searching or, or even by the window. Looking inside, you can see that they're just performing, like, basic bowling reenactment. Okay. They're fucking bawling. <laughs> I'm fucking bawling! <laughs> you stupid hero, I'm fucking bawling. To the sweet... Rah! <laughs> yeah, with a bowling ball. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, post guy. I'm a demon on the court. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you guys have the ability now to go to... Th th most immediately around you. The motel, the movie theater, or the arcade. You know that going through to the dive bar, you need to pass through the motel. Um, and if you want to go to the apartment building, you have to pass through the arcade or the movie theater. You can also go backwards to the warehouse. Um, and Alex, I need you to make a, a power check. Um, oh. Oh, I think I can do that. I, I think that should be okay. <laughs> Someone says, Mingus goes, Ichiro uses Akihiko to fight the robots. <laughs> you whack them with limp Akihiko. Uh, 18. 18, yeah. You, <laughs> how do you carry him? Like baby cradle princess? Like what? Uh, fireman carry. All right. Like oh yeah, that's what I was. That was what I was picturing. <laughs> but he's strung up over your horns. Like you're, like you're uh, squatting him. 
Yeah. All right. Uh, you guys make it to the motel. And excuse hey, thanks me. Thanks for visiting, Kitty Cat. Hope you catch up soon. <laughs> uh, is this gonna let me select it? Me when I try and move. Oh, oh, oh okay. I'm trying to move scenes, dude. What is going on with Owl Bear tonight? Oh. What? Why do you just get like possessed by a boss man? <laughs> I, I don't know. What is going on with Owl Bear tonight? <laughs> Fuck off. It was just <laughs> taking a hot second to load something, so I was like confused. Um, excuse me as I load in and completely dump everything on here. Um. I don't know why this isn't covered. Now I'll know everything. <laughs> no! Your oh, yeah, the it won't let me. Tail. Can I? Yeah, the motel mm -hmm. is just completely uncovered. <laughs> it should. I well, guess. I mean, we're just okay. walking by it. That's true. That's true. Well, yeah, I guess you are. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, well, unless. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, sorry, I meant to leave this covered too. I guess this is exactly how it should be. Um, uh, you I can, another perception? well, uh, actually, this before I, before, first and foremost, before you even need yep. to perceive, let me copy and paste you guys here. Uh, Ichiro, can you give me another power check? And then I, I must reference the motel on the map. 18. Damn, Damn! Why are you fucking chugging? <laughs> Bro has never felt any fatigue ever in his life. Um, you actually... I can roll. I can fight. As you guys are approaching the motel, you can see both Sukara and Shingo, who aren't running, but are, like, lightly jogging until they spot you, to which both of them run like head first not literally into Ichiro or attempt to um <laughs> Ichiro uh but Ichiro like Sukara very excited to see you and like Shingo's very pleading like Ichiro both of them very clearly happy to at least be seen by others are you guys all right you can see there's some kind of distress on their face <laughs> uh, well, uh, <laughs> do you I was gonna say do you pres you're not hiding Akihiko from Sukara right no okay as soon as Sukara realizes what's in your hand his stare becomes somewhat blank he got crushed by a boulder I'm sorry yeah <laughs> you oh, just left is his arm here you go you just yell that at him uh, well not yell it you just but, tell him immediately he got crushed by a boulder. I don't know how to console him in this moment. That's okay. I I don't know if that was it, but... <laughs> no. Uh, you didn't. can see Tsukara becomes almost blank-faced. The eyes that were, like, full of hope just a moment ago dissipate into an almost thoughtless orb. Uh, you can tell that this is... He's <laughs> um his Joker moment. Yeah, he has he has a brief disassociative moment. Um but Shingo <laughs> I just watched <laughs> Kosuke fucking flip. Would it be uncouth to uh like grab Akiko's arm and be like, Shikara, I'm okay. I'm just taking the nap. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me uh, <laughs> can you give me persuasion? Uh, yeah. Or no, sorry, deception. This is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> least <laughs> least heroic thing Ichiro has ever done in his life. Eleven. Yeah, you're pretty good at it. 
<laughs> it does not convince him. Puppeteering class. Uh, yeah, it did not convince Tsukara. Nah, but was... you can tell nothing's really no, getting to him. <laughs> now everyone's like, ooh. Dude. Why would you do that? I thought it would help. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. My fault. My fault. <laughs> my fault, Roshi. <laughs> uh, Sukara uh, is non-responsive at the moment, but Shingo asks if you guys had to fight them too. I mean... Uh, yeah. Yeah, like, I... Barely, though. There's more fighting the fucking building falling apart. Jesus Christ! You guys had to go through one of the tests too, I'm assuming? So what was yours? Oh, I, we haven't, but we were expecting to. Oh, well. I just assumed because they've been setting them off all over. We've heard some explosions, some gunfire, a lot of things have been going off. I guess maybe the dive bar was disconnected for some reason, but... It's Silo, once everything went down, told us to spread out and try and find some kind of communication device to get to Kleenite. We were hoping to run into your class, too. We weren't going to go too far. We're actually only really spread out around the main areas surrounding the dive bar. We were sent here to the motel, but... I believe... There's Tsuyoshi, Ryunosuke, Rory, Hitori, Nanashi, and Tsutiko. They're around the areas immediate. They've left some of us back at the dive bar. I think Elias and Amara, I think? But we wanted to make sure that if any of you got there before we left, or got there after we had already gone, we'd at least have someone to tell you. Um, you. Kind of realizing that Tsukara is not okay, Shingo is like, turns to, or Shingo isn't, doesn't say anything, but he turns to Homura and Kosuke and gives them like a sweaty, like, side eye, like of like, is he okay? Doesn't really look like it. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't yeah. Why don't we ask Mr. Solda? <laughs> uh, he's, not, he's not here. Um, so, so wait, I guess so we should go friendly. maybe collect everyone. Mike, okay, sorry. My question is Would you guys like to share what happened over in the warehouse with Shingo and Sukara, or would you like to withhold that information? More specifically, like, what kind of did? What other Maybe things not. that you saw? I, uh, kind of feels like they should know, only because their safety too. I mean, have, have you guys noticed the robots acting crazy, like, like way crazy? Uh, Sukara again, non-responsive. But Shingo's like, well, yeah, they've been like, I don't know, looking at us a little bit, but I didn't find that too strange. I don't know. I'm trying to recall, like, like, thro like throwing shit around, and like, you know, they're like actively trying to kill us. Yeah. Well, I mean, you guys remember like, one, like, I mean, I guess did threaten us, but said something threatening. Well, we had already kn we already knew about the that some bots are have like the security stuff built in, but it definitely seems like it was all of them. <laughs> yeah well so all of them are built to react not all of them are built to have the capability to actually do anything about it though but the 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 yeah the defense drone bots are like particularly dangerous um shingo mentions how his class had a few robots act weird but i mean <laughs> silo very easily took care of literally all of them he only needed one shot and that took out any threat to the uh, the kids um considering how weak they are he didn't f seem too worried but shingo like inquires further being like w uh, like defense the 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 defense ones oh yeah uh I, I guess i i guess i assumed you'd seen them before uh yeah some of them like have like saw blades and stuff what? Out of him. He. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. What? Like, uh, Shingo yeah, like, visibly like... gets more uncomfortable. No, 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 no. They just have. They just have robot parts, right? 
No, like like sca like like. But you're talking about construction skin. ones, like ones that aren't the humans. I don't know, like kind of like evil looking, like not really. But these aren't the 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 robots you see on the compound, like the the normal no, ones. No, they are. They're disguised as them. Uh, Shingo, eyes wide, uh, realizes that the kids. Oh my god, the kids are in more danger than he previously had thought, and surely <laughs> Sakara is aware of that now. We thought they were just the normal ones. That's why Silo sent us all out. W what do you mean? Wait, Silo doesn't know this? No, of course not. Why would he send us out if they were that dangerous? Uh, I... Silo has sent out a bunch of the kids uh, in a search for other people and other forms of communication, trusting that the kids that he sent out could handle one of the normal robots. Now Shingo is realizing he has no idea if any of those kids that are sent out can handle the ones that you're talking about. Surely Tsuyoshi and Ryunosuke and was there anyone else with you in the old group? Others, I should say, would know. But they might be working under the assumption that Silo knows as well. Alright. So now my question is, now that you guys have made it to the bowling alley and to the motel, what is it you would like to do now? Uh, I guess, I guess yeah, we should... Um, we should sweep up everybody else. Uh, Make now sure they're not getting themselves killed. Yeah. Uh, Agreed. While this discussion is going on, um, EI is just going to disappear. If not like literally apparate it and like and, and just explode. <laughs> but if you guys want to give me perception, you can see maybe where he was headed. Yeah. Um, Sosuke and Kyo give you guys the like, whoa, 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 hey, listen, yeah. I know this shit's supposed to be dangerous and we're supposed to be heroic and all, but I mean, me and Sosuke, we're not going to be able to handle this kind of stuff. You guys should maybe just go on ahead without us. Um, Mitsuru is just, I think get, like spits on the ground. We're safer in a group. Kyo, you got like a crazy defensive ability. Uh, yeah, not offensive. I'd prefer to stay where I can defend myself. Thank you very much. Have you ever thought of defending others? Okay, funny. Yeah, I have, but I mean, how many people could I defend if we're on the move? But you're OP, I mean... you have to. <laughs> uh, can you give me charisma? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just Maybe I am a little bit. Wait, <laughs> this guy is... <laughs> Shut Come up. on. We need the goat. Give me charisma. I'm trying to find it. What the hell? It's okay, in cooperation. Nice. <laughs> Six? <sex>. Dude, <laughs> oh. wait. Shut the fuck up, man. Are you serious? Dude. <laughs> you think I'm goaded? You think I'm goaded for real? Uh, wait, that's all it took? A Six. Ah, uh, fuck! Fine. I guess I'll watch over you guys. Ah, oh, uh, don't worry, guys. Your senpai is here. What? <laughs> Guy in the same grade. Every senpai six. <laughs> Alina moves behind. Why? Well, I'm sure. I'm getting you guys closer to travel. <laughs> okay. Uh. And that Alina moves behind Ichiro in response to that. <laughs> yeah, like cringe <laughs> move. All right. Only, um, only other person height-wise she could possibly hide behind. <laughs> Wait, I got a twelve to perceive EI. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I got a thirteen too. Oh yeah, uh, you guys watch as he goes to the movie theater. What the um, fuck? But now you've got dude's gonna watch a movie. Bro's watching a <laughs> flick. Um, all right. Fitted with the swallows. With like the sauce. With the sauce. All right, would you guys like to go from the motel to the dive bar or the movie theater? Let's follow EI. <laughs> so yeah. the, the current consensus from the group is that you're going to the dive bar. 
unless you state otherwise. <laughs> you, okay, no. but we'll we'll get our uh, classmates first. I mean, I mean, I feel like yeah, I noticed something, and he's just annoying and didn't tell us because he feels like he can handle it. Fair. I mean, yeah. I, do we want to like send one of us to go run after EI? Do we want to split? <laughs> bring him back. Sounds kind of. Our goal was to keep everyone together. I feel like something I mean, yeah. is a little counterproductive. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, keep in mind, uh, the kids that are split up now amongst the compound, the ones not with you, are on their own regardless. Uh, if you guys want, there is no. I'm not saying there's a time limit. But I'm not saying that every one of these kids is going to be able to hold out. There were no classmates in the movie theater, right? Other than EI? Uh, you have no idea. Uh, Shingo, Shingo doesn't know where oh. um, they were sent. Like his, He and Tukara were the first few uh, to... I want to say like... Like to to leave from the dive bar. Uh, so, Shay, are you? Are, so thoughts on splitting the party or thoughts on changing course? Are you guys against splitting the party? And it not that you guys can't go. Yes. You, okay, so we're against splitting the party. I am. Okay. You're Shay. You're now against it. Against splitting the party. Okay. Well, you were like you were the one who offered it, so I didn't know if you were like going for it. Uh -uh. Oh, I thought you said you would go. No, I said we should. I meant like the group should follow EI. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and thoughts on diverting course? Uh, well, yeah, I, mean, yeah, I, I guess I, I just we're feel checking like everywhere regardless. Something. Yeah. Yeah. True. And he's a smart guy. He's All right. Smart and that? annoying. So, it's consensus. So, yeah, follow I think you follow yeah. Follow yeah. Stay distance. Um, the other kids are all very against this. <laughs> first off, Akihiko is being carried by. Uh, Mitsuru is the first okay, to make yeah, this actually, problem. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> Mitsuru. True, so actually. Mitsuru was he the first to offer an input. Attention. Um. And he, not to be a dick, but I'm pretty sure we shouldn't head after the only kid in the class that would look death in the face and spit with a kid who's on death's door trying to walk away. If it's up to you guys, or if it's all the same, I'd prefer to not be the reason this kid fucking bites it. Sorry. And he leaves, he, he says sorry, but he looks over at Tsukara, who looks like Pim at the end of the first Smiling Friends episode. Like, just... Like, super depressed, no response, like, wide-eyed, very clearly having catatonic. a bad... Yeah, catatonic. Uh, <laughs> so sorry about your friend, by the way. Um, but if it's all the same to you guys, I would rather go to where there's people. Yeah, no. That's a good point. Um, Kyo is like, meet Zuru, buddy. Listen up. Your old buddy Sosuke and I, big senpai Kyo... We can handle whatever is going to be thrown at us because uh, I'm kind of the goat uh, and is pretty like into the idea of going with and goes, I can't let one of my super awesome classmates get killed under my watch uh, and is going to offer to split with Sosuke to go. Sorry, not offer. He's just going to go to the movie theater if you guys choose not to go to the dive bar. Or, sorry, if you choose to go to the dive bar. Uh, we're not uh, anyone... Should we have, uh, like, Mitsuru take Akihiko? And, like, whoever else wants to go to the... Um, Mitsuru will take him if you guys want. Uh, but Mitsuru is not going to go to the movie theater. Sukara is going to follow wherever you take Akihiko, and Alina will follow whatever the majority. Shingo, 
Sh sorry, Shingo and Akihiko will go wherever people are. For obviously different reasons. <laughs> uh, okay, I mean, I I'm, I'm okay if the majority of us... Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm okay if the majority of us just go to the dive bar. Because, I mean, Kyo and Sosuke going, that's just at least three people. At least four if there's another person there already. So, I feel like mm -hmm. they're chill. Until right. we... I mean, because we're probably going to double back, right? So. To the dive bar? I mean, yeah, double back to the oh, movie okay. theater. You can go to the movie theater good. straight from the dive bar. Okay, yeah. It's it's sort of a triangle between the motel, the theater, and the dive bar. The dive bar, however, can go to only the motel, the movie theater, and the suburb house. Or the houses. Uh, all right. Ichiro, are you transporting? Are you transporting Akihiko? Oh, oh yeah. All right. Um, while you're transporting, can you give me a medicine check? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I was going to say I have an ability, but it probably doesn't matter in, in this situation. Um, six. Six? Yeah. All right. There is a moment where Akihiko begins moving erratically in his unconscious state, but after a few moments, you stop to let him uh, lie on the ground, and you give, uh, like, you put your hand underneath or, or like, hold his head uh, before, like, laying it down gently, um, and after a few seconds, he stops. You were, just in case something were to go wrong, going to let him lay, uh, but after only a few moments of, of resting on the ground he stops and you're able to pick him back up um, just to make sure you just didn't want him to fall out of your hands if he were to move too sporadically uh, but as you guys make it to the dive bar which I now have I have to wipe this thing because it looks a little different uh, oh I forgot to copy and paste you guys Wait. Actually, can I just paste you guys? Ah, oh, but it doesn't have everyone. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have to... W this is me walking back to the fucking motel. <laughs> Walk in. <laughs> it's like the guy with the from Monster House where he goes back into the door and... <laughs> <laughs> fucking takes... Takes these guys. All right. <laughs> you guys leave. But... Sosuke and Kyo have left the party. Oh. God damn it. Getting to the dive bar. You guys enter, which I will put as a group for now. Uh, and you guys see that Amara and Elias are here, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amara and Elias are inside the bar. Amara is behind the bar and is pretending to serve Elias like a drink. Um, but the drink has like an, a cartoonishly long silly straw. Um, and as Elias is sitting there drinking it, it, it's like being sucked out of the, the the glass, but the silly straw is so big that it still hasn't made its way to the end of the straw. So Elias hasn't even drank anything. Um, and <laughs> the glass is now empty, so it's just, like, swirling through an endless loop. It looks like those Windows 95, like, when you leave it alone, too long tube screens. Uh, and as he <laughs> arrives, or sorry, as you guys walk into the door, both of them turn to you in a shock. Amara is dressed straight up like a bartender. Like, she is completely pulled out a different outfit. New wig, everything. Um, sorry, not new wig. Her makeup is is the same, uh, but her she has a different wig on. Um, and <laughs> everyone's just standing there watching. Elias takes his mouth off the straw, and the, you see it like reverse, going back all the way back into the drink, and it fills his little cup back up. Um, as both of them are like, "Hey!" Uh, and they see Akihiko, and they go, "Ooh, hey!" Uh, you guys enter. You can see that things are pretty tame over here. Um, Elias approaches the group first, obviously. 
Alina is going to move over. I'm going to move everyone who is not, re like, staying in the doorway over to where they would move to. Um, and Sukara is just going to hang out over here. So, RGB, my lovely friends. Um, Elias is going to push past Kosuke and be like, Homura, oh my gosh, it's so good to see you, okay? Hey, Kosuke. Uh, I had no idea. <laughs> when everything went down, I I didn't know if you guys were going to be all right. Silo left with a bunch of the other kids. I'm, where's Soul Doctor? The doctor He's is going out. to the radio tower to mm. try and help. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get you guys inside before any of those robots show up. Um... He pulls you all away from the door, uh, or at least, like, the, the two of you, and is going to, like, oop, I grabbed Kosuke. He's going to lock it. Uh, pulling you guys over to the corner. Um, Ichiro, do you want to put him down? Yeah, I'll lay him down. All right. Can you give me... Actually, do you want to do anything... To make like a, a bed for him, or do you want to put him in like one of the booths? Uh, God, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how much more comfortable that's gonna be, but fuck it. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, more comfortable than the floor. Uh. Yeah. Here. <laughs> you put him in the booth with Mitsuru. <laughs> Somebody's gotta keep an eye on him. <laughs> Uh, Homura, where do you, where do you guys want to sit, or do you guys want to go anywhere for the time being? Uh, um, I want to go ask her we move on? why she's running the bar. Uh, yeah. All right. We should recruit her. Yeah, dude. So, not that this will act as a sort of hub, but anywhere, any one of the classmates that you bring back that isn't dead set on moving to another location will remain where they're at so if you want you can leave people here evidently there's not much if any you know traction of robots uh let's see you go up to amara alec and you ask her what she's why she's being the bartender yeah nah somebody's gotta keep the lights on she spits into one of the glasses <laughs> continues to clean it Seems like you made it dirty. Ah, not as dirty as this next cocktail. And then she moves back. You can see all of the all of the drinks behind the bar <laughs> that are out and available are like mixers or you know like stuff that you would mix like a like pre-made mixers where you could just put the alcohol in and it's already done. Um, and she just starts fucking throwing random shit. And you know when like you're a kid and you're making a potion. It's the equivalent here. She's got like an orange juice sprite uh, club soda mix with a whole ass orange in it. <laughs> Ooh, oh my god. Can I take that one? <laughs> uh, can you give me a fortitude check? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my Oh you my failed. god. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, you uh <laughs> throw up. I was going to say you go to drink it and and you uh Homer, uh, Kosuke, you guys are are turn away from Ichiro for just a second after he takes this to look at Amara uh and you hear oh, ah, 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 and you turn back and he has the whole orange lodged in his throat. Like, it's, <laughs> like Squidward with the fork, like, rah, rah. Uh, can one of you perform a medicine check to, to Heimlich him? Homer rip it out of his throat. <laughs> <laughs> like a snake. Yeah. What like is a, a medicine snake. check? Medicine Ed? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> How do you Heimlich him is the question. 
do you perform it correctly or like in the Homer way? Probably correctly. Really? Okay. I was kind of thinking I could just st like stick a chain in his mouth and take out the That's that not way. correctly. <laughs> I meant like but... real Heimlich or like in your own way and you're like the right way and you fucking no, drain but if I snake actually him. have to do the Heimlich maneuver. Then... You are also, it's so no, funny picturing it because you're I mean, so you much smaller. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> It'll come out on its if own. I, if I have to do something, <laughs> you mean save his fucking life? <sighs> you know in that moment when your friend's choking, you're like, right, I'm plucking it out of If I mouth. have to. Uh, Alright, yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> extend a chain out of your hand or your finger. Where do you, how do you, how do you, where does this chain come from? Um, probably like the palm of my hand. All right. You face hugger him, uh, like bear clawing his face. You get a hold of the, what you can feel is the orange. And then you begin pulling back. Uh, and it, like, you know, when they pull tires through like clogged pipes, <laughs> it's like chicken <laughs> bones and leaves and grass on this thing. <laughs> You pull it out, it comes out with a pow, fires out like a cannon. Um, there's confetti that shoots out with it. Uh, but other than that, Dude, fuck. <laughs> Ichiro, you're all set. Elias stands over by uh, the two of you in the back is he watches this exchange with Alina who's like takes a step away from him but uh sits in one of the chairs and the the uh, Shingo, Alina and Elias all like golf clap for you as you finish saving his life <laughs> I didn't know if if you had a would would she bow No come on guys we got bigger <laughs> things to worry about here That's actually why I came to talk to you uh Elias slithers over and is like what happened to you guys because at least we got attacked by the robots in here silo took him out pretty easy but i'm pretty sure soul doctor is not really a combat oriented hero is everything okay did anyone get and he looks over at akihiko hurt other than him uh, not really but uh yeah no we definitely did get attacked well, I'm glad to see you guys are all right. Surely you plan on remaining here with the rest of us, right? The survey team will probably come back pretty soon, and we can move as a unit there. I give him like an hour or so. Uh, where's Silo? Uh, he went off onto the suburb house area. They said they were going to scan the immediate surrounding compound facilities, but they wouldn't go too far. And they said if they could and did make it back to the apartment building and they'd come back for us in a car so either way they'll be back pretty fast okay um, I'm just thinking who's best to take care of Akihiko mm, that's a good question um, Amara you watch she like comes into view from behind you guys like uh, in, a, in this shot but you, she, you see she pulls out like a rubber glove and she snaps it onto her hand and she's in full doctor like surgeon garb and she's like i'll handle this um to which elias is like no 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 you will not <laughs> uh what's the the buzz thing it's like i don't believe this man has ever been to medical school <laughs> <laughs> um i mean if you guys want you could try waiting for them to get back and we can drive him over to one of the facilities that has medical facility stuff but the closest thing i could assume that would be would be like the school or something but it's way too dangerous to be walking out with him like that i mean i think we're gonna head back out and try and gather everyone else back up what like you and ichiro uh yeah <laughs> and, and me and homura uh oh um he like 
It's like, oh, that's uh, that's probably not a good idea, actually. You guys would probably be safer just waiting around here. We could uh, maybe scrounge around for medical stuff in this compound. Uh, I mean, we'd be safer, but we need to warn our classmates about yeah. the fucked up robot. The what? The evil horrible oh, robots. Oh yeah, that are... the fucked up robot. You know? Yeah, there's, there's like uh, the, uh, there's some of the robots that look like normal robots have like saw blades in them. Oh, you know, that's. Are you sure? That's... Yep. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure. Sh- no, that's crazy. Yep, we You're... saw them. Our own eyes. All right. Face to face. Hmm. So we're heading out. You, he like you. You shouldn't do probably you want. do. You <laughs> were gonna do it. Peace. Shingo steps forward and is like, Elias, it'll be fine. They can just uh, raid. He like keeps looking and like, oh, no. You could probably just. I'll just go with them. And Elias is like, Shingo, what do you mean you'll go with them? What are you gonna do? And Shingo, Damn. noticeably more defeated, is like, I, I can do stuff. Um, and Alina gives the like a hand reaching out on his shoulder, and like a no, you can do stuff. <laughs> um, Sukara from over by the table goes, I'll go. <laughs> In the noticeably less, for some reason, because I forgot his southern accent, I'll go. <laughs> oh my god. I'll go on with him. Yeah, he, he was so go? serious, he forgot. You said you just needed to get to the school, right? Uh, yeah. It'd be easy. We'll just head to the movie theater, and then to the high school. And if anything's in our way, we'll get rid of it. Yeah, sounds good. I mean, that's where, uh, well... Kyo and Sosuke and EIR right now. What? <laughs> Elias uh, is just the, like the, well, well, the 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 movie theater. The, well, they're all at the movie theater. Why did you guys right split up? Why? Where is? Well, we didn't ch- we didn't choose to. They literally just walked away. Oh, um, I mm, fair. All right, then we'll hold down the fort here. I guess we can look around me and Mitsuru for whatever we can find to make sure that this guy doesn't... Uh, and he makes, like, the full motion of, like, Akihiko dying. Just in clear Why view of everyone. everyone. In on this joke? <laughs> Just, if things get too dangerous, come back. Come on, That's Amara. Uh, and he... He walks past Shingo, and they both have a, a stare-down almost, where you can tell that Elias... Is very clearly like. If you want, you guys can give me insight. But he brushes past Shingo, and Amara like skips towards the the exit. Uh, Mitsuru carefully now tending to Akihiko. You can see the tendrils of the black and green goo that extend from him from Nia uh, are like inspecting his eyes, inspecting his body. They are, they've opened his mouth um, and are. Just performing over an overall checkup on Akihiko. Thank it's you. just gonna be you six, and then there were six. Hi, Mikey. All right. Anything you guys want to say Off. to the to the group before we head out to the movie theater? Um, Stand proud, man. <laughs> you're strong. I hope you like thrillers. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Nice. Oh, that was good. <laughs> You're saying that to him? Yeah, he pushes up his imaginary sunglasses. All right. I'm inspired. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, you know what? <laughs> I forgot I can give you guys um, a little bit of. I think it's the plus ultra that we made the the almost like inspiration. I'll give that to you guys. I'll give that. Yeah. Um, it's, I think it's Beyond. Mm. I can give you guys Beyond, which is, um, written fucking somewhere. (laughs) I know I put it in here. Um, 
check out. Oh, here it is. Um, Beyond is for a uh, for an allotted time, which is in this case around. You can treat your role like it is a level above what it is. Whether it's for damage, mm. whether it's for a skill check, whether it's for roll to hit, for whatever you want. Um, but yeah, Kosuke, I'll give you, you, you can have a little beyond. You, you can go a little beyond, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to go to the movie theater now. And I got to go into... I tried Let's to fucking go, kid. Okay. Let's theater. fucking go. All right, let's go. I gotta go to the movie theater, but then I gotta grab my dunks first. Fuck you. <laughs> I am. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Know what, you. Kid, fuck you. Fuck, fuck you, kid. you fuck, I... fuck you, Yo, buddy. Fuck up... Buddy, go Fox fucking Tony fuck yourself, you. Fucking... <laughs> Where the fuck? You oh, it's because fuck. it was labeled cinema. I was like, why the fuck can I not find this? Oh, I gotta. Can I? Oh, I guess not. <laughs> I gotta. Wait, did we all get beyond? Yeah, I'll let you all have it. You were all inspired Ooh. by Kosuke's cool, cool little anecdote. If that's the right word for it, probably not. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cover up. Not that anything would have been revealed anyway, but. I should cover up the rest of this for the for the fun of it. All right. <laughs> uh, head right into the lobby. All right. Do you want to give me a perception check? Sure. Why sure? Oh, not that. <laughs> Nine. Twelve. Twelve. Seven. Damn. What Damn. Maybe listen, Kosuke. I don't know. Do better. Yeah, it was almost a critical fail. All right. Guys, I got... Help me get this cotton out of my ears. <laughs> oh, Kosuke. You call this cotton in your ears. No wonder you can't hear me there. Someone used their cotton in your ear quirk. All right. Um. Sorry, I need to zoom in on our. I keep forgetting to make sure our OBS is is kept squarely where we are, so at least our audience can see. Um, Kosuke Homura, Kosuke, you hear the sound of what sounds like the movie theater, like boom, 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 like an action thriller movie is playing in the theater in front of you. The one of the two here. Uh, Ichiro, what did you get? And Shay, you got a twelve. Um, awesome. Okay. <laughs> Are there gunshots in Dude, here? Dude, I'm fucking. I'm just so giddy. Uh, Shingo and Al Alina are walking side by side. Um, they don't seem to be talking to each other. Alina, evidently, for for Homura and Ichiro, you can see she's trying. Or sorry, Ichiro and Homura, you can both see she's trying to comfort him. But every time, every, every time, like. Every time she reaches out to, like, provide some kind of support, she ends up stopping herself and then, like, pulling her hand back um, until she finally gives up. Sukara is locked the fuck in. You can see he is walking with, like, a serious stance. Each step is, is uh, careful. He's looking to the ground, and he has said nothing during your travel. Um... You can hear Ichiro, or Ichiro, you can hear at least in the vicinity of him. His breathing has gotten really, not labored, but strategic. You can hear him like, <sighs> taking in large breaths and letting it out slowly. Homura, upon entering, you feel the ground shake. And now you're sure of it, that it's not the movie theater sound. It is something legitimately large hitting the ground from before you guys and shaking it. <clears throat> you can hear, oh fuck, uh, from behind one of the walls, which is Kyo. It's clearly Kyo's voice um, with the sound of <laughs> like something has been destroyed. 
Homer, oh, what is happening? I can't hear anything. Something large in here, dude. Fuck. Not a big fan of large things. Well, you lead the way then. I don't know where it is. Um, you guys can head into movie theater A, the top one, or movie theater B, the bottom one that you had previously watched a movie in. Homer. Do I know which one it was in? Uh, no. If you want, you guys can give me an even bigger perception check, but... Uh, this is after you, I'm moving you guys in solely so we have room, but, uh, Sukara, Alina, and Shingo have all arrived. Ichiro is right behind them. Um, everybody is inside. All right, I guess I'll go with A first. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, I was say, do you guys all follow Homura? Yeah. All right. Um... Sukara and the other three are going to check downstairs. Or Shingo gives them the, like, there's a 50-50 chance that whichever room we walk in could be a wrong one, so I just want to make sure. If we spread out, we might be able to help find them faster. It sounds like they're having trouble as it is. Uh, sure. <laughs> do, you, do you three want to go down? For sure. Uh, they are all again calculated now sukara walking behind alina and shingo who are running um but they all make it to their door and you guys can see them from the other side and uh if you guys don't give a countdown shingo will try to of like holding up a hand with like a three two one um what do you guys want to do we can go for a countdown all right Shingo can lead if he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, uh, and they bust in. <laughs> Ichiro, you guys, you guys fake Four. it. Ichiro goes in, but you guys don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a little too much of that. Hey. Uh, just as you guys uh, enter, uh, damn the wall dividing the movie theaters. Uh, absolutely shatters as a massive robot uh plows i'm gonna say plow plows through um with on his hand that he's clearly pushing ei who goes flying into like one of the seats at the opposite end uh this robot stands at 20 feet tall and is clearly some kind of uh response to i want to say large-scale structural integrity damage um this thing is evidently a like a loader like it, it carries heavy loads to each of the facilities uh and ei is at the other end of this place um <laughs> through the wall hole in the wall you guys can see like little puzzle pieces are flying at it at really fast speeds uh, but none of them are clearly doing any damage to it and you hear oh fuck i'm not the goat i'm not the goat i've we, oh my we have not seen something that big no, you have not. <laughs> All right, let's start killing it. <laughs> let's start the murder. Ichiro, throw me. <laughs> aye, aye, rocket boy. Throw him? All right. Yeah, so I was going to ask. I do need speed checks. Oh, yeah, turn. All right. Sigh, turn order. Sigh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Seven. All right, are we ready? Nine. Nine? All right. Um, this, I'm going to call it Loader. Uh, and be sure to add yourselves to the initiative, which you guys already are. I love you guys. Homer, what'd you get? Six. Oh, Ichiro, what'd you get? Seven. Okay. Um, and then, so this is tough. I get, <laughs> Dude, I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> Uh, I need to add the other two, or other three, to uh, initiative order. So give me a sec. Can I get, you can take your time with it, uh, reactions to the mega robot? Because I do have to add everyone to the initiative while this is going on. Uh, you guys, so you guys watch this thing bust in through the wall, uh, throw EI across, and then it turns slowly and looks at you three. Jaw to the floor. <laughs> I 
like the <laughs> crash sound effect. What the? <laughs> yeah. Precisely. All right. Uh, so Kyo has a speed of. Oh, so damn, damn, so scary. Uh, so scary. Twenty-one. Uh, oh, my title. The cool and speedy so Sosuke. <laughs> it sucks because it works. Yeah. Uh, after Sosuke, Sukara, who has a speed of three. Uh, and Sukara has nine. Hi, buddy. Oh, damn. I am slow. Uh... This is the, I think this is the the most rough part, is getting everyone's speeds. Uh, Kyo has a speed of 2, and EI has a speed of 3. So, EI has 6, and Kyo has... 6! <laughs> what the fuck?! Oh my god. 6, 6, 6. Uh, the loader has a speed of 18. Ooh. Alina and Shingo, yeah. Uh, and then Alina has a speed of three, and Shingo, wherever he may be, that beautiful boy, has a speed of two. So Shingo gets a six, <laughs> and Alina gets a five. And I think that's everyone. I think we have gone through the list. Um, this thing turns to you guys, gives you the, like, destroy objective, uh, and I'm gonna move all the way. Sosuke's turn, who is going to do nothing that you guys can see. The loader is going to move. It has multi-action. Uh, just as a note, it's going to move. Oh, it's just, it's just close enough to Ichiro. Uh, Ichiro does a 19 hit. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, it just, it just makes it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now that it hits, does it... Oh, wait, Ichiro, did you add your bonus from Deer Form to your initiative? No, I guess oh. it. It, fuck, what, what fucking difference? Uh, True. It, it's plus four. Okay. <laughs> so, Ichiro has I don't a, think, I do an not 11. think he has a 15... Oh no! I just I just wanted to make sure. He, yeah, your initiative. Do you have a bonus to AC? No. Also, you've had a plus five to perception <laughs> this entire oh my God. time. <laughs> uh, all right, Ichiro, do you want to block or dodge? Uh, I'll try to block. You're gonna blodge. 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 From IKEA. No. Uh, so you need to get a 19 or above. Oh, sorry. What the fuck is the rule for this? Uh, are you dodging or blocking? Blocking. Blocking? It's your, uh, power check. Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> What did you- <laughs> what did you get? Oh. Uh, does beyond apply to every roll? Any roll that you make, but it's for one roll. In this oh, case. Oh, okay. All right, you take seven damage. <laughs> You're pretty lucky. Uh, he hits you, and you go flying at least 20 feet in the direction he hit you. So you go flying past Kosuke, flying past Homura, and through the wall. Um, next up, he can't hit anyone. He doesn't have enough room to walk. So he is just going to hit the ground and turn the ground into difficult terrain. Uh, it's not, I don't believe, enough to... It's... Fifth... Is it? Oh, it might actually hit you. Hold on. I need to make sure. It's 15 feet out. Yeah, okay. Kosuke, the ground under you shatters into a small uh, patch of rubble. Uh, 
and you now have disability or not disability. You have a difficulty walking across it. Um, it's just going to cost a little bit more feet of your movement speed if you're not flying, which is kind of irrelevant to you. Okay. All right. All right. Next up is Ichiro. Get up, buddy. Yeehaw. <laughs> Yeehaw. You like get up. You're like. Oh. Um, realistically, know if I can. Oh wait, no. I <clears throat> again. I can get mad close. Yeah. Can I hit him from here? Uh, yeah. I guess technically he's on there. Um, can you move five feet closer? Oh, I can move five feet closer. <laughs> I was going to say, if you can, I just, it would probably be easier. Um, okay, so, now I should have read this before. Apparently, uh, are you I talking can, about the deer horns? The horn shield? Uh, uh, uh. Um, oh, oh, I was looking through. Right Never mind. Um, <laughs> oh, you also, it's it's okay, by the way, you would have probably failed the reaction block anyway, because you have you have disadvantage on reactions just in the first round. So, a after this point. In the headlights, is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> um, okay, I'll hit him with a buck strike. A buck strike? All right. Ooh, hit this fucking crit. You won't. Buckshot? Buckshot, yeah. He's going to hit him with a D12 of damage if he hits him. Um, he's a heavy... Oh, yeah, you fucking hit him. Are you shitting me? Ooh, holy moly. Holy mackerel, man. All right. Holy guacamole. Give him the D12. Nice. Oh. Uh, you <laughs> absolutely slant... You... Are you... You're headbutting, right? Yeah, you bring yeah. your antlers down, oh uh, and it scrapes through some of the metal, shockingly. Uh, all right. My horns are made of antler mantium. <laughs> uh, you deal 12 damage to him. You see it, like, start to waver and wiggle. Uh, it's Sukara's turn now, and Kosuke's. Um, Kosuke? You want right. to go first? Uh, or do you want to let... You hear Sukara... You hear like a... Zzzz, like a buzzing coming from the other room, but I didn't know uh, if you would let him get his lick in or anything. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll follow up on Ichiro first. Okay. I'll just uh, I'll just jump up. Uh, just straight... Straight kick him. Jet, jet fire. Kick him in the jaw. <laughs> in the jaw? In the jaw. Damn. <laughs> All right. Really? Yeah. Try and hit him. Just like a jump up, flip forward, aim in my foot. Ugh. Pick up. Up. Go for it. Ba -ba. Let me just do my combat to hit. Holy moly. Eight. Oh, it does not hit. Yeah. You go flying past him. <laughs> it dies. Yeah, it, like, do. lightly, uh, like, moves back, and you watch uh, <laughs> as it just, uh, like, absolutely evades. Where am I? Currently, like, here. I was say, you can move uh, to whatever area that you would find. Oh, true. I can it. move after. Uh, I'll, I'll stay... I'll stay here. All right. Let's see. Damn it. Sukara! <laughs> you call out Sukara <laughs> to fucking, like, finish it. All right. <laughs> you guys watch as... Hit him with a... <clears throat> hit him with that cricket noise. Hit him with that TCH. <laughs> Sukara is <sighs> one of the first in view from the other side of the wall uh but you guys watch as he arrives st he's st i don't have art for it <laughs> i don't know why i revealed him like it was gonna show like a cool new sukara um 
You guys watch as he lands on the structure that makes up what's left of the divide between these theaters. His body is clad in a chitinous armor. He has horns that remind you of Herc sitting on the top of his head. His arms, his back, his face, his legs, all covered in what appears to be some kind of formation resembling Herc. Uh, you see, it, this is what he calls, and I, I'm not going to, I don't know if he would say it, but I'm not going to say it in his fucking accent. Maybe one day. Um, but he calls this the Chimerant King. Uh, this is his beetle Chimerant King form. Um, he's covered himself in the muscle memory of uh, Herc's transformations. You can see his, his whole body looks like he's covered in a suit of beetle armor. Um, and while he can't make it here or all the way across from this stage, you can see uh, he can fly now. He His big, doofy uh, elytra open up and his wings spread uh, and he flies. He did just come from, let me calculate, 35, he's got... Oh no, he does, damn, <laughs> I didn't realize how small oh, this yeah. map was. You watch as he launches, disappears for a moment, and reappears in front of this loader, uh, and reels his arm back. Let's see. Yeah, he's got, <laughs> he gives, I've only got two uses of this so far, but it'll have to be enough. Uh, he, his arm comes back, and you can see, it's almost like his, his skin is made of like a, a shining metal that you can tell it's the chitin's sheen uh, and he is going to roll to hit with I believe his fun little 4d4 right now oh dude please don't miss it would be so sad okay he does hit very barely oh, with uh, a 15 um, no pressure. and he is going to deal 5d5 plus 5 or 5d6, sorry. <laughs> 5d5. I made up a new this. dice for him. <laughs> 23. Oh. He punches it. His wings are still beating behind him as his fist collides with this thing's leg. Uh, and you can hear the inside of it being jumbled up. His fist goes through the, the leg of this beast. Um, and as it turns to around to look at him, uh, it is go it's like sh shaking its leg with him still attached to it. He's like moving around it. Uh, and it is now Shingo's turn, who's going to run for his turn to you guys, if he can make it. Uh, there we go. And then, oh no, wait, he is a little bit farther back. Uh, Homura, it's your turn. Um, I'm gonna run up to him. <laughs> Eat him. And. No, I'm going to use chainsaws on him. Ooh, okay. You hear that <laughs> as it revs up and rips through your skin. It doesn't cause any tears, but it does look painful as like the chainsaw blades start revving around your arms. Uh, what is your ability for Chainsaw Girl? What do you mean? Like, what's the... Is it an attack or is it just like a form? I forget. Oh, it's an attack. Okay. All right. Roll to hit. Give us your combat, Homura. Yes, sir. Ooh, 16. Yeah, you fucking nailed it, dude. Get him. I'm going to go for the legs. All right. Ooh, Same yeah. leg that uh, Sukara's trapped in. Yeah. All right. Give it to us. Oh. Homer, uh, murder. <laughs> Damn! 17. You. Wait, it's plus control, too. Yeah. So plus. Oh, oh. Uh, so 19. Plus 3. You have yeah. 2 in technique? Oh. Oh, oh no, you're the plus the oh, aptitude. It's plus control. Yeah, like you're. You're. Oh, oh, okay. Plus control, okay. Um, which it should be the level of your control, not. Oh, okay. okay. Not the. So it, if you do have a bonus, three, it I does guess. go for it, but it should be three, right, or four? Three. All right, so it's plus five because you have level three plus two. 
and fucking sawing through this thing's leg. Uh, it 22 damage, though. Yeah. Uh, you tear off the ligament that holds the leg on this thing, and it shakes as Sukara is, like, tossed a few feet. Uh, he lands near Kosuke, and you can see he, like, flips over and lands on his feet, tearing up one of the seats and, like, uh, getting ready to throw it at him as he looks over at Kosuke. You can see the, the demeanor change in Sukara as he gives you, like, a head nod. Yeah, Kosuke, Kosuke is just, like, beaming at him. Just, like, <laughs> yeah. so he, he thinks he looks so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. These guys are moving. Um, You can hear the other two, uh, Kyo being like, You guys got this, right? Uh, as he slams down onto the ground, and you can see he's starting to build a cradle of puzzle stone around uh, the area in case there needs to be some sort of shield. Uh, the formation takes a few seconds and it covers the immediate area around him. Um, let's see. Let me add this in. The dome. Uh, you guys can get into it. It's like just not big enough for the, the loader. Uh and Alina's gone. So Sosuke's turn. Um, Sosuke is going to step out, actually. You can hear Kyo being like, Dude, what are you doing? Uh, and being... It, Sosuke doesn't respond, um, but you can tell his demeanor has somewhat shifted. The loader is going to attack Homura and Ichiro and then do another action once then uh so homura ichiro are you guys ready yeah, yeah. ichiro does a 25 hit cool. yep. homura does a 19 hit yeah all right shay uh Wait. alex do you guys want to what's up can i horn shield it yeah absolutely oh. <laughs> so i'm not even gonna roll uh, the damage, you don't have to take it. Unless you want to see how much you would have taken. Uh, That's fine. Shay, do you want to dodge or block? Um, I'll try to block. Alright. You need to beat a 19. What is it? Fortitude? Ah, uh, it's power. Or like, power. Okay, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> All right, Shay. You ready? Boy. Homura is going yeah. to Homura gets hit. Damn! Oh, <laughs> With oh my Five moly. damage and gets sent back 20 feet. There's nothing. That was so. That was so With lucky me. I created a new exclamation. You got like your arm up and he just. You know in anime when they almost hit, but they, like, scrape the side of you? Uh, his metal body, like, cut and serrated parts of your, your cheek and, your like, took off a little hair. Uh, but you guys are, are somehow fine. Everyone in at least a 45-foot range around, starting around him. Oh, no. Oh, boy. We're in that range. Uh -oh. Wait, hold on. I need to make sure um, this is right. I believe there's an issue. Um, I'm in that range. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is going yeah, to take two d twelve damage as oh, he like, obliterates. You guys can try and dodge or block if you would like as a reaction. Sukara is going to use one of his reactions. So I actually need. I need. Oh. I'm not gonna. Don't ignore that. I'm gonna need to roll for Sukara very quickly. He has a speed of three. Awesome. Oh, I guess I should set. Uh, the roll should be a 12 or above. <laughs> Sukara's not fucking reacting to shit. You need to get a 12 or above. Boy, okay. Uh, I really need to work on my supportive abilities. Mm hmm. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, let's see. I gotta roll. Reaction, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eight. Damn! Damn! All right. Yeah, you are able to move out of the immediate effective range. Homura, Ichiro. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try and block. All right. Ooh, you did it. Yeah, you fucking oh, blocked that. Yeah, shit. Nice. So you're gonna take half of the damage. Okay. Ichiro? Did you, you already, did you say how much it was? Uh, no, we're gonna roll after everyone's rolled. Okay. I think I will also try to block. Sukara attempting to use his big fucking wings to react and take him out. Where are you going? Get the fuck back here. Oh, I can't move as well? No, you can't. Well, it's it's not your turn. It's a, it's a reaction. It's just like you seeing this set, oh. like explosive wave of force coming out towards you. And you succeeded. So you're both going to take half. Sukara shoots out his wings in an attempt to like fly leap backwards but the the rubble shoots up and passes through his wings you can hear him cry out in agony uh you guys take 10 damage each <clears throat> uh, sorry you guys take five damage sukara takes 10 damage uh oh. and you are all going to be blown 15 feet from where you're standing <laughs> shake <laughs> shake gets launched out against the wall Oh, I'm out? Uh. No, 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 you're not actually. Uh, you're you're realistically just outside on the sidewalk. Yeah. Uh, and after him is Ichiro. Uh. Blast was just like energy dispelling? Like yeah, he, he, uh, no, 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 it was him expelling like pressurized energy, like a uh, air. And also, he was, uh, like, hitting the ground so that it... Basically, like, an explosion around him of compressed air that shot rubble from the ground around you in a dome-like sphere. Um, but... Um, can I use medical practice to try and heal? Absolutely. Is that... That's one of the abilities you got from level ups, right? Yes. Yes. You guys also have class sure. abilities, remember. Yeah. Four health? Uh... Yeah, you craft a small bandage with your medicine. And you can do a d4 of healing to yourself. Beast. That's just your turn, though. Yeah. All right. Uh, Sukara, who is trying to maintain this, has one more round left, uh, and he is just like full scream cry charging back at this thing uh and trying to hit him with an 18 which hits and he's hitting it square in the chest uh and dealing 23 damage oh my god uh he hits this thing and it moves back a few feet uh and as he hits it while flying in the air like a, a full strike mid-air you see these transformations this armor that created to look like Herc disappears as he's left in uh, his pants. His jacket has been torn off and he's in like uh, pieces of his white collared shirt. Uh, so I say he's, that, he's got that Herc in him. <laughs> uh, and he <laughs> falls onto the ground for a round, like completely uncovered. Um, Kosuke! I try and catch him? For my uh, it's he, he wasn't that high up. He was like five feet up. He, okay, okay. He's just like taking stress muscle damage from using this new ability. Okay, then I'll just follow that up with a uh, with another kick. All right. I uh I I move back forward. Use one of the seats as a little launching pad. Mm. Go straight back at him, and. And... 13. Thirteen. Oh my god, barely. Does he? Well, do you have a plus two? Uh, no, that was my with my plus. Ooh, 
you do not hit him. What? He's got well, a 15. When did his AC change? He had uh, Sukara rolled a 13 plus 2. Oh, oh that's why. Yeah, okay. he barely made it. Uh, but no, dude, Damn. Th this fucking robot's been on you, dude. It's like, it's keeping an eye on you. You fly past it, and this time again, it leans to make sure that you narrowly, like, miss its chest. Uh, almost like it's hyper aware of your speed and your ability. Um, Shingo is just going to move over into the in-between outside of Kyo's box. Um, Humra, it's your turn. Uh, and also EI's turn, who is still unconscious, by the way. <laughs> or no, he's not up. now. Never mind, he's up. I forgot this is the second round. I'm gonna come at him again with my chainsaws. That's Ooh, all right. Show. All right. Chainsaw girl time. You rub that shit up. You're... You, you bust in the... Another there's... leg? <laughs> uh, oh, okay. You bust in through the, the wall again. The rubble that like left dust is now like dissipated as you explode through. Give me combat. Ah, it's not enough. Uh, 13. Still not enough. He no. hops backwards a little bit or like jumps, which you weren't expecting him to do. Uh, and narrowly avoids getting his leg sawed off as you watch EI fire an arrow. Uh, this is from the comfort of the ditch that he's laying in next to the, the fire escape. Um, EI has his bow. I need to roll his precision, but I forget what his fucking technique is. God damn it, EI. Why are you so hard to find on my sheet? He has... Oh, never mind. He's a fucking fine technique. 15, which is just enough. Uh, and he's going to deal 1d10. Nice. He fires off, and you see the arrow hits this thing uh, right in one of the eyes. It stumbles, like, looking over. The eye isn't, like, turned off or anything. It's just now sticking out of him, um, to which EI, as it looks over, hits a little button, and you can see it the eye explodes out of its face as the the body shakes shakes and shivers and moves around a little bit uh yeah small explosive damage uh so we have where's our our pdf our small explosive damage which actually it might have been removed since <laughs> Uh, oh no, small scale explosive is 3d4. So he did 9 plus 7. Alright, so he's done 16. This thing is now going to have a little trouble targeting you guys, just a little bit of a minus. Uh, and now it is Kyo and Alina's turn. Kyo is simply building up his uh, little square larger. Uh, Alina is making her way to the robot, and now it is Sosuke's turn. Um, he's going to ready an action. You guys watch as Sosuke moves. Sorry, I need a two, three, four. He moves right near Sukara, actually pretty close to being like on top of Sukara, uh, and he prepares his hands. His hands are just held like ready. Uh, he, his palms are facing down. Um, like, he looks like he's going to play a percussion sort of instrument. And as the loader stands up, it grabs some of uh, the rubble, like rocks, uh, and is going to try and throw it at several targets, including EI, Sukara, uh, and probably Ichiro, if not. Or actually, no, he's just going to use his regular attack on Homura. Shay, does a Yelp. 20 hit? Oh, yeah. Block or dodge? Uh, block. All right. You need to beat a 20, which you didn't. <laughs> I did not. No, you are taking the full extent of six damage, you lucky fuck. Yeah. Uh, next up, he is going wow. to throw 
these things. Uh, so he, I'm just going to outright not roll for one because I have an answer for it. Uh, but he's going to attempt to roll. Or no, this was damage. My bad. Um, it is rolling. Oh no, that actually was a correct roll. Fuck. He just had a plus two. Uh, he's trying to use his precision to hit EI. Um, and EI's AC might not actually be enough. It is! Okay. <laughs> EI barely rolls out of the way as this hunk of rock hits where he was laying. Um, and it turns now, like, about to lob it at Sosuke. Um, he gets a 13, which would have hit, but you watch as this thing is thrown and Sosuke throws up his arm in an arcing motion upwards. The large boulder that was going to hit, um, now the momentum is carried straight upwards as it launches through the ceiling um, and arcs somewhere else. Um, you, if you hadn't known before, Sosuke's quirk is called Revolution. If you guys want, I'll let you do a little quirk check and see if you can determine the physics of it, if you'd like to, but you don't have to. Um, I would like to. All right. I have a plus six in quirk education. Ooh, 14. His quirk revolve acts on a very weird scale. Anything that travels towards him has a, a hair's breath of a second where when he is within a few feet of the object moving or anything in front of him that he can directly point or, or touch its momentum, its uh, revolution, everything about it is shifted in his image. With the boulder coming at him, he had only a moment to react to it, but using one of his abilities, he gets to do it as a reaction um, with advantage, which would have... It, it's unfair. It's 5d6, which would look like either a 16 or a 19, which would have obviously worked. Uh, as the boulder was coming towards him, he rotated the momentum and the object to face upwards in an arc, and it, almost like a rock skipping on water, continued right over him. Um, yeah, uh, you'd seen it when he rotated Ichiro coming towards him, but he is not too keen on things getting close to him and evidently has trained this power ex extensive, extensively. Holy fuck, that hard as fuck for me to get out for some reason but it's Ichiro's turn now I'm Ichiro you are uh, um... you can combo with people if you want so uh, you just only be able to combo with Kosuke take one <laughs> Yeah, buddy. You wanna fly? Sure do. All right. Get that famous combo. Yeah. All right. Wah, 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 wah. Yes, sir. I need you guys to beat a very hefty roll. <laughs> Can't say what it is. Or actually, no, I can. It's 25. Okay. Together. What would you guys like to use? Or no, sorry, you guys need to roll combo. Yes. Give me cooperation. Sorry, cooperation. The full skill, not the combo. Not combo specifically? No. Unless it doesn't make a difference. In which case, there is no reason to differentiate them. <gasps> cool well, skin. Only because I 13. have ten uh, plus two for combo. Oh, okay, then yeah, that would work. Okay. Uh, so eight. Ah, oh, dude, <laughs> it's it's just close to not enough. Uh, what what would the combo look like? Uh, what was your I plan? Think I would throw him. Oh, you're going to... Into Mecha Matt's head. <laughs> Mecha Matt. Mecha Matt! Uh, yeah, you just throw Kosuke. <laughs> yeah. And Kosuke, you lose That's your turn. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, we'll put you over <laughs> here. Sukara is going Damn to it. spend the turn stunned. What's up? I'm just like a f I'm just like a fucking fly around <laughs> this guy's head. Yeah. It's like back and forth. <laughs> Shingo. Um. Shingo is going to two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh. Shay, do you want to jump in on this? Would you like combo to combo them? them? Yeah. He as he's running up, you guys are in sync. Uh, you have the same turn as in. Uh, let's see. Oh my god. Oh. Shay, what? Oh, if what? What's up? No, I just realized that we're so stupid. <laughs> Why? Because we literally could have used our beyonds. Oh yeah. Shay. He has a two in cooperation plus two. You guys need to get twenty-five. Uh, and you can see his fist is lighting up like a bright gold as he charges towards Me Mecha Matt. Do you want to give the roll? Uh, hey, Leonard, we're uh, fighting a Ooh, giant robot 16. in a movie theater right now. He needs a nine or above, and he will do this. Oh, my God! <laughs> Let's go! Uh, Shay... He looks ecstatic that you respond to his his plea for a combination attack. His arm lights up bright gold, so bright that it's it illuminates some of the area around him. What are you doing for an attack? Um, I was thinking I could just do a, like a chain launch kick. All right. Attach chains. Put myself. Go for kick it. Him. Um. He's using <laughs> half of his stored up power, or a quarter, sorry. Wait, let me check his stored power again. We'll use half. <laughs> so he doesn't roll damage. He's using a multiplier on stored damage that's going to be doubled. So he's using uh, 10 of his stored power, which comes out as 20, um, which is doubled to 40. <laughs> And Shay, what are you using for damage? Uh, I don't have to roll a hit, right? No, you hit with a combo. Okay. What'd you get? Uh, 1d10 plus damage. Oop. Oop. <laughs> it's okay, because you double the total of that. Oh, true. Okay. So what did you get? Oh, you no, get? it's... It's 1d10 plus 1 damage for every space. Okay. I wasn't that far away. No, you were, that's at least a, a 5 total. Or a 4 total. Mm -hmm. um, you double that <laughs> to 8. So you guys deal 48 damage. Uh, and oh as Shingo is reeling back, <laughs> Kosuke, you watch. You can see like a black outline around his hand where his skeleton is. And as he strikes this thing, uh, you can see half of the lower body is is ripped apart. Like its legs, its torso are split. And as he hits the legs and they go flying, Homura hits the chest. Uh, and they are both like forcibly separated. The legs fall off. Um, the upper body continues. It's as though it, it, he's literally split in a sense. Um, and I'll put the loader legs as an item um it like flies off and this thing gets noticeably smaller it has you have advantage on hitting it it still has health and it's still gonna deal damage um and if you want you guys can give me a perception check to see what happens during this uh amazing combo check because something peculiar happens but regardless uh hmm. next up in the initiative order is EI who is just gonna <laughs> fire shit at the the fucking robot. He fucking nails it, of course. He deals a D10. <laughs> One damage, <laughs> it just blink, like hits it off the eye. Kyo, who's staying by and watching. Alina, who realistically is too scared to get involved as Shingo 
Sukara who's standing up, Kosuke, Homura, Ichiro, and Ei are all unloading on this thing. Sosuke uh, is going to try and pick up Sukara and leave, obviously disinfecting him first, but Sukara pushes him off. The loader is going to try and hit uh, Shingo and Kosuke and Sukara, er, Sosuke. Um, it's crawling over. Uh, Kosuke does a 20 hit. Yes. All right. And it hits the rest of them. It hits everyone. Kosuke, you're going to take 16 fucking damage. Are you shitting me? <laughs> Why is it only uh, you? Yeah, I'm literally unconscious. That's all the health I had left. Oh, my God. Uh, it pu It's like writhing around and it uh -oh. throws you uh, about 20 feet. It's going to hit Sukara, of course, for f or Sosuke for four damage. He goes flying for 20 feet, and Shingo, who is going to take nine damage, uh, and he is not moving 20 feet. I mean, you can see his whole body lights up where he is hit gold as it dissipates for a moment. Uh, Ichiro, Sukara, Kosuke. Yep. <laughs> Ichiro, do you want to hit him? Yeah. What are you hitting him with? You're, what are you hitting him with? You're so quiet. Really? Oh, just for a sec, you were. Uh, I'll just hit him with a flurry of blows. All right, give it to him. You launch into the air. Your little, like, deer visage appears through a smoke cloud. You hit Oh, no, you don't. Oh, wow, you didn't hit him. <clears throat> oh. Um. Sukara, Shingo. Or no, Sukara is going to try and hit... Uh, with a targeted strike and he mit oh no he does hit uh, and deals two damage whilst stunning it he smacks it in the dome uh, next up is Shingo and Homura Shay do you want to hit it you have Here. advantage on hitting it or no wait Alex yeah you fucking I forgot you can both hit at the same time uh, you have advantage on hitting him Oh, okay. Yeah, you fucking hit him, dude. Shay, uh, what did you get? Uh, to hit? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Did, with your advantage? Oh wait, that's an extra die. No, that All advantage right. is a, a you roll again and take the higher number. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Shay quit fails. Maybe this can be saved. Come on. Oh, it's uh, no. just below. Alex, give me damage. Uh. Are you hitting him with the, like, Jotaro special? Just a full? Yeah. yeah All right. Yeah. Um, Jotar Doe. The shit. fucking deer. <laughs> Which die is it? Uh, D6. Uh, the amount of D6 is equal to your power. Oh. All right. How do you finish it off? As you're hitting it, you feel its body start to, like, come loose from the bolts. How do you end him? Um, with a really big punch. <laughs> this is the biggest one! <laughs> like my big punch <laughs> not the big punch <laughs> and then where do you where's your last place you hit him um in the chest all right you hear the <laughs> as the robot like fully shuts down uh and hits the ground everyone around is like <gasps> oh, oh. um you can see the Sukara, everyone is either bloodied or too battered to really have a, an excited reaction to the revelation that you've won. Um, Sukara, Alina, Sosuke, Kyo, Ei, and Shingo. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Did anyone roll the perception check from the round prior? Uh, no. No? Uh, yeah, I did. What'd you get? Do you remember? 
Uh, I believe it was a 13. Okay. You're like, I believe I critted. Yeah. Uh, that is that wasn't enough. It's okay. It, it makes sense okay. you wouldn't have seen it. it. It was a really tough find anyway. Um, yeah, well, I'm, you know, I'm a sleeping over here now. <laughs> uh, first things first, after you are knocked out and everyone uh, finishes up, Kyo is the first to get to you. He is going to make his medicine check on you using his intelligence as you guys are no longer in combat. Uh, awesome. I forgot what his intelligence was. All right. You are healed eight health. Nice. Um, he, he, whoa, bro. Don't get up too quick. Uh, you can see that there are, on you, layers covering your cuts and bruises. These appear to be some layers of, like, skin. Um, almost, what's the term when you transfer body parts um a graft yeah he's skin grafted you with these little jigsaw looking band-aids of skin oh yeah is that from you <laughs> he like sh uh scratches the back of his like head crazy yeah <laughs> like sweats a little bit kind of cool <laughs> what <laughs> I'm the goat. <laughs> You're so goated. <laughs> oh my god, I'm the goat. I'm the fucking goat. All right. Um, now that you guys are up, obviously, Ei, Sosuke, uh, and uh, Kyo are like confused as to what brought you here and like what what the situation is like, uh, but. Thing, I mean, evidently they were in more trouble than you were. Do you guys want to fill them in on what your plan is, or are you just going to get them? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you guys find anybody else in here? Um, no, when we got in here, that thing just kind of fucking freaked out. It was already in here setting up some kind of big screen and after it saw us it went a little haywire I guess if that's what you'd even call it dude I'm gonna be honest I thought I was the goat it doesn't really feel like it anymore my arms kind of hurt uh, as you guys are you know connecting and, and grabbing hold of everyone and, and preparing to leave I'm assuming oh Shadow Slayer just subscribed on YouTube. <laughs> That's mad funny. Uh, Thanks, blood. You guys get a very fun little message over the radio. Um, and by that, I mean your phones all start ringing. Scary. Would you answer them? Yeah. Uh... Okay, so who's answering the phone? There is no number set, just a non, uh, no caller ID. I'll pick mine up. You I pick don't yours really up. Want to. <laughs> yeah, you've had trauma before. Uh, Alina does. Sosuke does. Sukara doesn't. No phone. Uh, Shingo. I guess, yeah, I do. All right. Hel oh, sorry. Hello, students. If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means I've succeeded in my task. Uh, the message, evidently from Soul Doctor, lets you guys know that not only did he repair or at least find a way to break through the transmission, the jamming signal, but he has uh, made contact with other parts of this compound. This is a message that goes out to all of the students of Class 1C. An anonymous figure has been spotted on the compound, moving with intelligence that they should not leave with. You are to find this person after finding a nearby teacher or compound facility leader, and take them out as soon as possible. If you don't, the safety could be jeopardized for the entire compound and all those on it. Uh, the message 
clears up after. This person looks like... With the uh, static taking over and call ending. Oh, we got a no. posture check. Ooh. Um, I was old, doctor. <laughs> no! EI chimes in, bloodied and annoyed. So what does that mean? We're just gonna search the whole fucking compound? Um, Alina panicking, going from everybody who's freaking out, you know, when like someone's trying to calm everyone down and they're like moving in all different directions in, in like shots. Uh, Sukara rolling over his shoulder, trying to like get himself back up. If it means we're saving lives and well, then I don't give a damn. Uh, Shingo and Sosuke panicked, uh, Sosuke being like, I think I've, I've had enough of fighting today, but if we can get back to somewhere more safe, maybe we could reconvene. Um, and Shingo chiming in with like, as long as we're not splitting up again, it's too dangerous to go out alone, especially with robots like these on the loose. Um, but other than that. RGB, how are you guys feeling? I'm bugging. You're bugging? Yeah. Why? <laughs> it's scary. That's fair. Kosuke? I uh, just thinking we better get the silo. Homura? Yeah. Sam? Wanting this day to be over, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright. This doesn't sound like a test. Shh. It is not get is not getting better. No. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for our lovely viewers who have jumped in and checked out our stream. Thank you to Matthew for your lovely donations and to our resubs, Sleepy Senpai and Kaiken, you lovely motherfuckers. If you guys like Class 1C and no. want to play the tabletop system that it's we're using, uh, you can check out our Discord where you can find it for free and being constantly updated with ways to give your quirk new moves. Uh, if you want to check out more of our VODs, you can check us out on YouTube or Twitch at Perihelion Creative. If uh, you want to check out more of our players, you can check us out in, or look into the description below and click on any of the links for our socials. Um, I love you guys so much. Is there anything you guys want to say before we end? She gives me coming. I'm the time.